Next on Comcast Newsmakers, an organization dedicated to promoting Hispanic culture and educational opportunities. Details coming up. Hi, welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Sabrina Register. We are here at beautiful Avista Stadium today, home of the Spokane Indians. Joining me right now is Bernadette Piller, who is president of the Hispanic Business Professionals Association. Bernadette, so nice to see you. Nice Thanks for coming on the program. Nice to see you, Sabrina. Tell us a little bit about the organization. Roughly, when did you all get started and, and why the organization? Well, a group of like-minded individuals started the organization back probably pri a lot prior to 1995. But the way we exist today, we've existed since 1995. And why was the organization founded? The, this group of like-minded individuals that consist of a bunch of us now um, wanted to promote cultural diversity, especially in the area of, of Hispan the Hispanic culture. We wanted to ensure that the community understood the Hispanic culture. We wanted to exist to promote edu educational opportunities for uh, the Hispanic youth, um, high school, college, and university level students. So it sounds like, if I'm hearing you right, really there wasn't an organization that existed that had that sort of goal or aim in mind prior to you all starting. And I cannot really speak to that very much, but um, as far back as, as when the organization started, I don't believe that there was another organization that existed in this form. And the Hispanic community, you said, you know, you all are all about promoting Hispanic culture and educational opportunities. Is the Hispanic community in Spokane, the greater Spokane area, is that a growing population? Yes, it is. It's a, a very growing. We have a lot of um, a lot of uh, Hispanics that are in very um, high astute positions. We've got educators. We've got um, professionals. Um, we have just a, a very large growing population and we want to um, offer our support for the education of the Hispanic the Hispanic youth. Great. So you have members now, but you are looking for more members. Always, Roughly yes. how many members do you have right now? Well, we have uh, approximately on my distribution list, we have about 250 people who receive our distribution, you know, my emails sure. and notifications about the meetings and what have you. But as far as our membership exists, is about 60, 60 paid members. And so um, you're hoping to have more people of join? Of course, yes. So one question, people might be watching us at home right now saying, Gee, I'd like to, you know, be a part of this organization. I'd like to help promote Hispanic culture, educational opportunities for youth. Uh, I am not Hispanic, and you would say what to that? I'd say it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'd say we have many. Um, actually, a good portion of our uh, population, our membership population, is is not Hispanic. It's all about the passion. It's about having passion to promote cultural diversity, um, whether it be just Hispanic, uh, any cultural diversity. Um, that's what got me involved in the organization. The passion for cultural diversity. Um, we hold one major event a year to raise money for the uh, uh, scholarships that we uh, that we issue and mm -hmm. we could use their help so we would love to have and we would when, love to have you. <laughs> <laughs> when is that event? Um, we hold um, Viva Vino a wine tasting event at the beginning of each year it's usually somewhere between February and April. Um, April 5th 2014, I believe, is our target date for the, this next year's event. We are, the committee is working on that right now. And it is a wine tasting, live auction, silent auction, and we raise lots of money for the scholarships. And we, we issue those scholarships to qualifying youth um, who have applied and gone through the process. We issue those at our annual graduation ceremony at Spokane Community College in May. It's usually the, I believe, the third May, uh, excuse me, the first Thursday of the month of May. Bernadette, so. thank you so thank much you. for talking to thank us. You We're out of time, me. but appreciate you telling us about the organization. Thank you. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers.